Good evening, everyone. It's been a couple weeks. We got a matchup tonight out west. Tier 1, Division 2, between BPU's Dysfunctional Squad, and they're taking on Primitive. Let's, uh, let's head over to the tail of the tape, so... So Dysfunctional, right now sitting at 2 and 1, plus 12 on goals, plus 1 on games. Fine season so far. Five player roster, four have played right now. It's always good to, you know, have have the full complement. Millsy is leading the way. Also leading in the goals per game category. John's next. Respectable goals per game, again. Good shooting from the top two. Riddle Zeke, third. Good split still, leading the team in saves. I guess technically worst in shooting. Me personally, I'd kill to be shooting 29% in league play. And newcomer to the roster, Brancy, uh, picked up right before the season started. On loan from the Rats. I guess in this case, this is uh, subtraction by addition. I just do that because I'm giving Brancy a hard time. But, um, Brancy kind of playing up. I believe this is Brancy's first crack at uh, Tier 1 in IGL, which is GC2 or higher. And Brancy's posting a pretty nice clip. So, let's take a look at the other side, Primitive. Oh boy. So I did take a look beforehand. Primitive does have a couple of players playing up. They could also just be running up against, you know, the best in the, in the division. I know how this goes. So... Kind of having a rough season, minus 30 in goals. Haven't won a game yet. Posta, uh, on top of the team. Really the backstop right now. You know, not, not surprised necessarily to see these saves per game. You know, when... I interpret this as a team that's struggling, so when you see, see a team that's struggling, you know, the saves go up. And naturally, of course, this is all down. Coda's next in line, leading the team in the goals per game. Leading the team in shots. Anti D, third. Has the best shooting percentage. And CD. That looks like just a one series line, maybe. Just sub it in. So. So based on the stats, it looks like Primitive may have their work cut out for them. So, who do I like? Uh, 
out. It's a little rough, but uh, I think this functional is going to come away. Um, the numbers do favor them, um, but that really doesn't mean anything. You know, primitive could, you know, just come out, punch dysfunctional in the face come away with the victory. People are just kind of standing around like, what just happened? A lot of times in a IGL, never, you should never cut out the underdog. Um, so we'll see what happens. Um, of course, I'm going to predict dysfunctional. Giving them uh, the Endercaster Curse. And uh, as always, we'll see we'll see what happens in the match. I am going to message. Hopefully Millsy can pass that on. And uh, yeah, we can just sit around and wait for everyone. And I guess while we're doing that, um, let's see. Incapable, yeah, Incapable won last night. Um, I believe getting their season record to two and two. Rats are 3-0. Uh, Clangers, uh, they're playing on Sunday, 8.30 p.m. Eastern. Uh, it will be live on my, it will be live on my channel. I'll be broadcasting Point of View and, uh, you know, how Captain gets carried. I'm going to check real quick just to make sure that this is on last. Good.
Okay. Well, post a, I mean, you technically got 10 minutes from the top of the hour. So. And that's just based on the IGL rule book. And then it'll be on, I believe, Millsy to decide whether he wants to, you know, enforce the forfeit rules. No, you have to, you have to start. You can only really 2v3 if uh, someone DCs in the middle of the match. And then it's kind of up to the teams mid-series to decide whether or not There were a couple matches three years now, around three years back, two and a half years back, that forced IGL to put that in. I mean, say me, let's not go taunting, you know, teammates doing better than Clangers. You know, Dysfunctional here hasn't gotten reverse swept. Yeah, I know, I've, I've set... Yeah, ama yeah, amazing. This is what happens when you put the ball in that, Sabi. I'm very envious of all this. I mean... Uh, hold on a second. You're east? All right, let me remake. Once again, just proving that uh, we are well organized. All right. Um, Just so we can, just so we can have it. Uh, this is just for Sabian, so everyone else can dunk over my team. <laughs> Sabian, you're actually shooting 34%. This clown here, shooting single digits. No, I'm not passing either. Not with these numbers.
This is what we call this is what we call having a rough circuit, everyone. That's I believe one goal, two assists. Nine percent shooting. Although I dimed either Sabi or Coop in the last series we played. I don't think I've made my opponent save one of my shots. But anyways, that's a that's enough about clangers. So obviously, primitive uh, gathering their team. Thanks for the follow crabs.
Man, this is going to be unfortunate. I mean, I could drop you from the chat, Dale. Man, that's rough. Well, I mean, it happens. Like, you really can't do anything when someone just goes AWOL. So. Well, I guess that means that uh, Dysfunctional is going to get the forfeit win. I guess we'll pay out this prediction. All right, well, Dysfunctional uh, get the forfeit win. Unfortunately for Primitive, one of their teammates just disappeared into the aether. Okay. Well, post a good luck at CRL. All right, Milzy, it's up to you. If this is on, I will be more than happy to cast it. Well, I paid out the prediction. I'm not going to start out another one. So, it looks like we will have a match. So obviously, Millsy, if you haven't already, please pass on the information. 
so that perfect if can join. Thank you. Sometimes the uh, one problem with problem in quotation marks with you know orc franchise casters is you know. You have to make sure that the information gets either from the caster or to the caster. It's been a problem in the past. All right. Okay, we got best of five here. For dysfunctional, we got Brancy, John, and Milsey. And for primitive, we got Anti, uh, Costa, and Coda. Brancy up for that. John throwing on net. Easy save for the primitive side. Nice challenge there from Posta. Milsey picks up the ball, bringing it in through the corner. Throws in the middle. Nice challenge and save from Coda. We see Dysfunctional employing the Rats defense. All three defenders up. Who's throwing on the field was just off. That shot on. Defender can't save it. Primitive. Strike first, 58 seconds in. So again, based on the numbers, I do like this function of this match. I think they'll take it in four. Nice follow-up from Brancy. John gets over the defender, kind of gets it around the second. Basically, kickoff goal for Primitive. Good response. Brancy misses. Anti slots it home in the open net. 2 1 Primitive. 329 left here in game one. Brancy up. You know, I do like kind of right now what I'm seeing in a primitive. Wow. Caster Curse strikes again. John throws it in. Coda trying to get the clear, just mistimes it. Misses. Three or three left for our back at a tie game. Coda, air dribble in. Saved by John. Primitive is getting a lot of looks at net. Costa sends that in. 
Pretty uh, second save. Nice challenge from Anti. Posta gets it to the side. Ranty into the corner. Defensive mess from Coda. Ranty gets the goal. Dysfunctional up 3 2, 2 14. I mean, Rogue, you got kicked off the rats, Dill's team. Well, we say kicked off, but... John clearing it out, Brancy. Throws that in. Cutter sends it downfield. Nice stop by Millsy. Try to take control. Passes it. Passes it to the wrong team though. What happened there? John just keeps it up. Misjudged by the defense, perhaps? That's a weird goal. Yeah, he sends the ball in. Posta on the follow up. The old Defensive catch that leads to a uh, goal. Ah, Brancy's back on his uh, preloaded excuses. Bringing through the corner, looking for the pass to Mosey. Ball kind of got away from John. Brancy bringing it in. Primitive need one to force overtime. Into the countdown. It's a nice effort there. This function will take game one. Game. Game. Man, Rocket League is a perfectly oiled machine. So, kind of like what I saw from, from Permanent. I definitely think they can take a game. They might be able to steal the series. So game two. Should have done that in between games, but here we are. Could have bringing that in. John put it back out. Lizzie helps on the clear. Had to bring it in. Nice 50. 
Supposed to look it for the double. Yeah, Permanent might have felt like they should have scored that. Again, what do I know about scoring? I'm shooting 9%. gets an accidental double in the corner. And he bringing it out. Drops it down the post up. Poster sends it in. Put on net. Rats defense. Ah, uh, dysfunctional. See, keeping that ball in. No one up for that. Millsy just takes the uncontested ball and puts it in the back of the net. Defense just not up for that. Anthony looks like they wanted to catch that. So at the 320 mark, dysfunctional. Strike first. Francie down to John. John puts it away. Nice block there from Brancy. Just nice knockdown to John. Brancy should probably clip that. It's meant for plays of the week just so we don't have rats in. Plays of the week. Ooh, three goals in 18 seconds for Dysfunctional. Nice goal there from Milzy. Yeah, Sabi, you're not getting passes from me in league play. Safe from Brancy. Just sending that in. John clearing it out. But I didn't get enough of that. Go to one on one with Millsy. It's where Millsy can't reach it. Brings primitive within two. Nice play there from Kona. Anti setting in, looking for the double. Maybe looking for a team pinch there. Put a one-on-one. -on -one. John charges back, challenging backwards. Nice defensive challenge there from Ante. Trying to send it in. Drops it down to Posta. Two up for dysfunctional. Yeah, I keep saying it, but I feel like I'm casting a rats game. Maybe that's just BBU's thing now. Just double commit on defense. Brancy with the mind games. Anti not falling for it. Go to throwing on net. Nice save out of Brancy. Minute warning. Is 
because you have to save that. John down to Millsy. Millsy throws it back to John. Whew. That's a passing play right there. I mean, Savy, you could talk a lot of smack about your own org. Trust me, I do it all the time. Into the countdown. Looks like Dysfunctional's got game two. Millsy pulling a dill and keeping the ball up unnecessarily. Eight on shots in favor of Primariv. I think, well, you know, if there's ever a time to take a game off a BBU team, it's probably game three when they're going for the sweep. Post on a car change from Octane to Skyline. Is he off the wall? Air dribbling it in. Round one. Nice D from Coda. Rancy not picking out Posta there. Coda clears that out. Rancy. Sending that back in. Two dysfunctional members holding hands. You know, John, it's a shame you're tier one. Because that dedication to not scoring there could really be used on Clangers. He throws it on. John's back though. John keeping that ball in as third person. But hey, I'll trust what everybody knows what they're doing here. Brancy. Uh, the corner touch. Oh, man. the corner to Coda too. He had to bring it in. Tried for the double. Might have had it. Just unfortunately didn't get the ball struck right. He could bring it in again. The one there for primitive. Like there are plenty of chances like that one. I think for primitive to score. The defense are dysfunctional, just 
I'll be honest, doesn't look good. John comes in and deals that ball away from Millsy. Millsy catches Brancy's pass. Well, Quit out Brancy keeping it in. Dysfunctional doing their impression of the Blue Angels. Throwing it on. John, go for the bump. John needed like super wide car to take out two defenders there. Yep, it's like I'm casting a rats game in spirit. Look at all these double commits from dysfunctional. Supposed to keeping that in. Francie clearing it out. Andy, return to sender. John, insufficient postage. Could have throwing that in. Francie picking up a staff padding save. Nice play there from Coda. Gives Primitive the lead. 55 seconds to go. Gets it around Brancy. Easy couldn't get up in time. Probably waiting to see what's going to happen, what Brancy does. It's up there for Nancy. Nancy clears that out to midfield. John, back in. Ooh. Man, Coda. Coda does not get the touch they want. Demo opens up the back of the net. 12 seconds left. Tie in game three. Dysfunctional looking for the sweep. Primitive looking to keep the series going. We got OT. Cleared out. Mizzy over to Brancy. Brancy looking for the double. I mean, I can't really criticize. I can't even double the ball, so. I guess I should say Brancy was throwing like he does in in-houses. Throws on net. Nice save from Brancy. 
to round one. It's on net. Nope. Can't be there. Falls up. Post up. Beats Millsy to it. Goes under Brancy. Locks Coda. Two there from Dysfunctional. Close for primitive. And Millsy ends it there. GG's. Man. All right, so the recap. Uh, yep. Four three in game one in favor of dysfunctional. This I feel like is an unfair result to primitive. They unfortunately just couldn't get the balls in the back of the net. Lost four one in game two. And this might be this might be a very big what if game for primitive. Late goal from dysfunctional, twelve seconds left in the in regulation. And then they got the game winner in OT. So dysfunctional comes away with the sweep. Advance to three and one. Primitive unfortunately fall to 0 and four. I'm not sh I'm not sure what their playoff chances are. They're probably gonna have to run out the table and hope the division size shrinks. Um you know and then back in, you know as, you know, a teen seed at two and four and just try and make some noise that way. You know, also, you know, just look at the replays, look at what went wrong. Um, you know, from from my perspective, that, that game three, you know, felt like it was winnable for them. Um, so that might be a good place to start. But, I mean, I felt like they had, you know, all things considered, like a pretty good showing. Um, you know, and Dysfunctional, you know, came out, took care of business. Looked a little sloppy doing it, though. Um, so they need to, they need to clean that up. Maybe put, maybe put Brancy on the bench. But, uh, yeah, that's going to go ahead and do it for tonight. Uh, once again, dysfunctional. Getting the sweep over primitive. Uh, the housekeeping. Uh, Clangers will be in action. 8.30 p.m. Eastern. Sunday. Uh, it will be on my channel. Uh, since I will be on the field. Um, I will be sabotaging, uh, you know, being third imposter uh, for my team as, you know, we try and keep playoff hopes alive. Um, but, uh, yeah, 
you know, with uh, with the rats kind of decamped to, to Tank's channel. Um, you know, not a lot of broadcasts happening. Well, it's all good. Um, let's see. I think this is just going to go ahead and do it for us for tonight. So, everyone, thank you uh, so much for coming out. Um, I guess we'll see you live, I don't know, probably two hours before, you know. I'll find out when I have a match to broadcast, you know, two hours before the actual match. Because, again, we're so organized. But again, everyone... Thank you so much for coming out tonight. Uh, enjoy the rest of the night. Have a good weekend, and uh, we'll see you all next time. Have a good one.